This video introduces four different ways to understand matrix multiplication. They are the inner product perspective, the outer product perspective, the linear combination of column vectors, and linear combination of row vectors. Let's firstly start with the inner product perspective. Suppose we have a matrix multiplication matrix A times matrix B equals C. Place matrix A on the left of the matrix C, aligning the rows, and place matrix B above the matrix C, aligning the columns. Now we can see matrix A's number of rows tells us how many rows C will have. Similarly, Matrix B's number of columns tells us how many columns C will have. Let's break matrix A into row vectors and matrix B into column vectors. Each element of matrix C can be seen as the dot product of a row from matrix A and a column from matrix B. So computing each entry of matrix C is essentially computing an inner product. This is the inner product view of matrix multiplication. Now let's look at the outer product perspective. In this view, we think of matrix A as a set of column vectors, and matrix B as a set of row vectors. Amazingly, this lets us express matrix multiplication as a sum of matrices, all of the same shape. For example, multiplying A's first column vector by B's first row vector gives us a matrix with the same shape as matrix A times matrix B. If matrix A has P columns, meaning B has P rows, then the product of A times B is the sum of P such matrices of the same shape. This is the outer product of you to understand matrix multiplication. Okay, now let's try to understand matrix multiplication from linear combination of column vectors. Consider matrix A times a vector B, which gives us a vector C. Here, vector C is a linear combination of matrix A's columns. A linear combination means we take vectors of the same shape, weight them, and add them together to produce a new vector. The weights come from the entries of vector B. As for matrix A times matrix B equals matrix C, each column of matrix C is a linear combination of A's columns. This is how we see matrix multiplication from linear combination of column vectors. Now you might be wondering if each column of matrix C is a combination of matrix A's columns, can we also interpret matrix C in terms of matrix B? The answer is yes. As for matrix A times matrix B equals C, each row of C is a linear combination of B's row vectors. Inner product view, outer product view, linear combination of column vectors, and linear combination of row vectors. Now we have four different perspectives to understand matrix multiplication. These perspectives will help us better understand more advanced tools in linear algebra.